Good morning, so today I'm taking you along in day in my life as a university student. So to start, I made myself a green smoothie for breakfast. So I started with frozen mangoes, then I put a full banana. Next, I'm adding some Greek yogurt. I'm also adding some spinach. One scoop of vanilla protein powder. And finally, just a little bit of coconut water. And honestly, this smoothie is so good. I'm just going to do my makeup now while I drink my smoothie. And by the way, this recipe is so good. Okay, and this morning I'm super excited because I have a lot of new makeup to try and play with. So I'm going to do my makeup with a mix of products that I already have that I know I love and some new products as well. So first of all, to prep my face, I did my skincare like I always do. But I'm also going to try this Milk Makeup Hydro Grey Primer. So this is a sample that I got with my most recent order. I'm really excited to try it because it's a product that I've been wanting to try for a long time. It really feels sticky on the face, which I think is going to make my face makeup last longer. Next, I'm going to go in with foundation. So I'm going to use the Tinted Moisturizer from Rare Beauty. And this is a product that I already know I love. I've been using it for a few months now. Time for some concealer. So I'm using, again, the Laura Mercier Concealer. This is my absolute favorite concealer. Now time to try a new product. So this is the one that I'm going to be trying. So it's the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the color Light Medium from the brand Makeup by Mario. Alright, so this is my bronzer done and I really like this product actually. It's kind of in a cream form but it's not too greasy so I really like the texture and also it's super easy to blend so I really recommend that. Next products that I'm going to be trying are these two products from Rare Beauty. So first this is the blush in the color Hope. I've already tried Rare Beauty blushes and I already know I love them. I'm just really curious to try this new shade but it's my first time trying an highlighter from the brand so this is in the color Enchant. So it's kind of a little light pink color and I think I'm going to use a technique that I saw recently so I'm going to apply three dots of blush and two dots of highlighter and I'm going to blend those two together just because I don't like when you can see like bronzer, blush and highlighter on the face. I feel like it looks just too makeup-y so I'm going to blend the blush and the highlighter together. So this is the blush done. I really like it. It's again super easy to blend but I'm quite surprised because it's not as pigmented as other colors that I've tried but I still like the finished look because it's super dewy which I really love. Next I'm going to apply a little bit of translucent powder in some areas like under my eyes and on my t-zone. Now I'm just going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll come back for my final product to try. And this is my makeup, but to finish it, I'm going to use the Morphe setting spray. I've already tried this product a while ago, but I don't really remember if I like it or not. So I decided to give it a go again. And finally, the setting spray is actually pretty nice because the mist is so fine. So yeah, that's my makeup for today. And now I think I'm going to go do my hair. Okay, so I'm just getting dressed now and I started with this bodysuit from Dynamite and these pants from Abercrombie. And I feel like I need something else, so... Okay, so I just drawn this little grey card again. And that's going to be my outfit. I think it's pretty basic, but I'm just going to uni anyway. And I paired that with my black boots. And they're really dirty, I should really clean them up, but I really don't have the time to do that right now. Because I have to leave. A little bit of perfume. Okay, so now it's time to head to my first class of the day.
So it's like 6.30 now and I'm going to go prepare the dinner. So I'm going to be making the butternut squash carbonara from the Fresh Food Full Heart book. And this is my first time trying this recipe, so I'll let you know if it's good. myself a little kombucha in a glass. And that's the finished product. I can't wait to try it. It looks so good. I just finished eating dinner and it was so good. I really recommend this recipe if you have the cookbook. But it's already kind of late so I think that for now I'm just going to read until it's time to do my skincare then I'm going to go to bed because I want to go to bed quite early tonight um, because it's one of my new year goals. And currently, actually I'm, I'm just starting this book. So this is the Love Hypothesis from Ali Hazelwood. Hazelwood? And I've never read anything from her so I really don't know if the book is going to be good. But we'll see. Finally, I decided to make myself a little snack and I've been loving this as dessert. So these are like little clementine that I dip in chocolate. And I just decided to start the series Gilmore Girl. And I know I'm a few years late, but I just really wanted to start it now. <laughs> 